It's freaking magic, people! Magic! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. I am Orly Shani. Today's DIY is pure magic. This is so fun. I don't know if you guys have seen these pillows, but they're like the hidden secret image pillows where it's the double-sided sequin and when you push the sequins one way a picture magically shows up and then when you push it it's just a plain sequin pillow they're so freaking cool they were such a hit during christmas everyone gave them as gifts and i want to show you guys how to make your own custom hidden message pillow so this is kind of a a two for one DIY because not only am I going to show you the technique applying to the sequins and how you can make like this hidden image, which you could then apply to like the back of a denim jacket or make a little purse out of it or whatever you want. Um, but I'm also going to show you how to make a pillowcase. I think they're perfect for Valentine's day. You can do like a little secret cheeky message to your loved one and then swipe it so they can see it and then make it disappear. Uh, so it's really, really cool. So all that you need, really is this double-sided sequin fabric. It's the kind where when you push it one way, it's one color, and then you can pull it, and it is the other color. I actually made these really cool sequined, like, benches, stools. The kids draw all over them, they make patterns. It's like such a hit, everyone absolutely loves them. And I also made a dress that I wore to a red carpet event. It was a totally no-sew dress. That DIY is coming up soon as well. So that's really it, but let's show you uh, the standard materials. Begin by measuring your pillow so that you know exactly how much fabric you need. The pillow is 22 by 22, so I actually got exactly 22 inches of fabric because with the seam allowance then, it'll make it a really nice tight squeeze, which is what we want. I cut off my excess, and I also cut off the excess. This particular fabric has like a nylon backing, so on either end, you're gonna have about six inches of nylon that you can cut off. Fold your fabric face to face and pin it together. Now, I'm pinning my sides and also just a couple inches across the top. I wanna leave about like an eight to 10 gap open so that I can actually get my pillow inside and it also prevents me from needing to hand sew a ton. This is just a simple straight stitch across all of those seams and now you're done. Flip the pillow inside out or the pillowcase, reach your hand in and sort of push each of those corners out so that you've got a nice crisp corner. Now you can see it's done. You wanna paint on it without the pillow inside so that it's nice and flat. So I want my hidden image to be on the black. So really take your time and flatten everything out. Easiest way to make a heart pattern is take a piece of paper, fold it in half, and draw half a heart. So pin the heart in the center of whichever color you decided to focus on. And when you paint, you want to make sure that you are going uh, like with the grain. Don't go against it like that or you're going to end up with paint on the opposite side on those copper sequins. So no matter what, I am outlining this with my paint, but I am going with the grain very gently and very softly. The key to preventing any paint from seeping through is really light coats. So do these like feather light coats because you can always go in and do double. Once the first coat is dry, go back in with a second coat and it starts to become much more vibrant, but the light coats will prevent any of that paint from seeping through the backside. Now it was time to write the word love and this is always a tip I recommend when you're freehanding something like this. Start with your middle letters in the middle of the graphic. This guarantees that the whole word will have space and be evenly spaced out. If I just started with the L, I might end up like too scrunched on one side or not have enough room on the other. So start with the middle letters, or in this case, the two middle letters. Then I just thickened it up and made it a little bit thicker. All right, so I did the painting. Really light, light coats are gonna be key. You might get a teeny bit of paint that gets through to the backside, and I'll show you once this is dry, we'll flip all the sequins, and with your fingernail, you can just scrape off any paint that came through. But for right now, let it dry. Do not stuff the pillow until this is fully, fully dry. So we're gonna give it a minute, take a little break. And we're back. All right, guys, stuff the pillow. I don't really need to explain how to do that. You know how to stuff a pillow. Um, once we're fully stuffed, we're gonna go ahead and hand sew close the little section we left open. And that's another reason, uh, really the main reason, why it's nice that we only left open about a 10 inch gap, because that's that much less that you have to sew. So I'm pinching it together and sewing it with clear thread. I always recommend using clear thread with sequins. Once you get to your very last stitch, you're gonna wanna knot it off. So grab the thread, and before you would pull it tight, put the needle through the stitch and then pull it tight. 
you're going to do the same thing again. Two of those creates a knot and then your fabric is knotted off and you've sewn closed your entire bottom of your pillow. And we're done. So we've made our pillow. Now is the moment of truth, people. Yee! I'm going to push the sequins. We may have a little bit of paint that we're going to scrape off, but let's see what happens. Is there a lot of paint? No. Oh my gosh. There's barely any paint. So right now you just go in with your fingernail. See, it comes right off. Take off any little bits that you see, but the, using those tiny little coats is really what makes the difference. This is as good as I could have expected. There's barely any. So I'm just gonna go scrape it a little bit. Happy freaking Valentine's Day, bitches.